Hello guys, what is going on? Today I have something interesting, the Samsung Galaxy A21s. And this is my first time reviewing a mid-range Samsung or budget Samsung, uh, depending on your preference, because this phone costs around $200, $250. And for that, we have 64 gigs of storage, which is decent, four gigs of RAM, the Exynos 850, a quad camera setup, so that's some pretty interesting stuff over here. And this phone was opened in the store, so forgive the sloppy uh, wrapper thing. This is an Infinity O display with the punch hole on the left, which is my personal favorite position. And this is the phone itself. Let's peel this off. This feels like glass, but you know, not really 100% sure, but we get a bunch of cool colors over here. This is interesting. Now in display fingerprint sensor, we have a rear facing one. Which, you know, it's outdated, but, you know, I personally have nothing against these. And in the box, all we have is a SIM ejector tool, charging cable, and our power brick. And these are the specifications of the power brick. Okay, so first impressions in the hand. It feels nice and premium. It's a bit plasticky. The sides are definitely plastic. I don't know about the back. I think it's like a, it's either glass, plastic, or a hybrid of both, like Samsung has been doing for a while now. But nonetheless, let's boot it up. Because yeah, the buttons are definitely plastic. You guys should know that this is not an OLED display, you know, which is pretty disappointing. I can already tell it's not an OLED because I can see like the background is in, the background was not black. Okay, display looks pretty decent. The chin, you know, it's not that bad. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna set this up and get back to you. So here we go. The phone is all set up. Looks overall nice. Pretty disappointing that they did not put an OLED display. This is an LCD display, which, you know, it's not bad, but you know, it's Samsung. You expect better displays than, than this, even in the $200 range. That's my opinion, at least. But you know, I've been using it around. I've, I've been downloading a few apps. It's pretty quick. So as you can see, if you go to settings, opens right up, you know. So daily using this thing, so far seems good. So we're gonna see how it performs in night games. Not really familiar with the Exynos 850. We're gonna see how it works. Okay, not bad. Okay, it's not the smoothest I've seen. I mean, it the, the frame rate of the game is not that consistent. We're gonna turn off ads and see if that helps. Okay, it uh, doesn't help that much. So the game runs good. It doesn't lag or stutter. The only thing that I've seen is the fact that the frame rate drops just ever so slightly. So the frame rate isn't that consistent, but it's not really gonna bother you. All right, next up, let's try Wind Rider. Oh no, it's really not that good. I mean, again, the same problem. It's not lagging or stuttering, just the frame rate. It's not that good, but for those of you who are used to like these really cheap phones, you know, it's really not, really not going to bother you. But for those of you who are looking to upgrade, then yeah, I don't really know how to explain it. Like the game runs fine, as you can see, but it's the frame rate. Not, not so good. I mean, right now it's running pretty good. So you can use this game for light games. You can, you really can, but you're not going to like have the absolute best experience. I mean, the, the phone is capable, yeah, but it's not the best experience you can get for this price range. Okay, it's lagging. It's Okay. <laughs> it is, this is not so good. Look. It's like 5 FPS. Yeah, I mean, this is unplayable. Yep, no one's gonna be able to play like this. This is, this is ridiculous. 
Okay, guys, don't buy this phone for gaming because you're just going to be disappointed. I mean, maybe in light games, not so much, but heavy games like PUBG, definitely do not, like, don't, just, don't buy this phone for PUBG, just, you're going to regret it. Okay, that's distortion. This is a bottom firing single speaker. And you know, honestly, I was expecting better. The speaker's quiet, it's being distorted as the music progresses. It's gonna be good for you if you're watching videos of people talking, the speaker's gonna do just fine, but for music, eh, it's a no-go. But at least we have a headphone jack. All right, this phone can shoot up to 48 megapixels, which is pretty good for a phone in this category. It records 1080p, on both the front and the back cameras. All right, I take our first selfie. Okay, let's go outside. No, 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 no. Okay, this is rear facing video on the Galaxy A21s Full HD and it's looking pretty decent right now. Uh, Samsung's ne Samsung has never really disappointed me with their cameras. So, let's see how the auto. Yep, that's focusing. The autofocus is pretty good actually. Getting close, focusing. What about here? Mm, okay, here not so much, but you know. It's decent. Uh, yeah, this is all right. Front-facing video on the Galaxy A21s, uh, also full HD. So, uh, just by looking on the viewfinder, looks a bit better. I'm just walking uh, overexposed. So I think this is pretty good for vlogging. I mean. I'm gonna go into the sun. Sorry for the ugly hat. I got pretty badly sunburned yesterday. And as you can see, it's sunlight. I'm looking at the display. It's also pretty visible as well. So you're just walking around. Looks pretty good. And I'd say cameras are pretty decent. Yeah, I like this video. It looks good. Da -da -da -da. We're gonna do one more extra test, uh, and that is web browsing. So let's see. Let's, let's type test. So as you can see, you know, loading speeds are good. You know, uh, it's res it's responsive. So you know, web browsing on this phone is gonna be a good experience. But that that is pretty much it. I've tested all the basic functions of the phone. Battery has held up pretty nicely as concerning what I've done with the phone. We started at like 65, now we're at 57. The phone has a 5000 milliamp hour battery, but you know, this is an Exynos chip, so expect a tiny bit more battery drain than usual, but not so much because this is an underpowered chip. So should you get this phone? I'm, I just want to put out to the record that I've used phones in this price range like the Humidity G S5 Pro, and the performance is way better. It's got an OLED and display fingerprint sensor, around the same cameras more or less, maybe even a better camera. No hole punch, instead it has a pop-up camera. So for me personally, that I would rather use that phone than this. 
But for those of you who want to enter the Samsung ecosystem for not that much money, this phone will do the job just fine. If you don't care that much about performance or cool quirks like the S5 Pro has, then this phone is definitely a good buy. Okay, you're not gonna buy this phone for gaming or heavy tasks or stuff like that. You're just gonna buy this phone because you wanna be a part of the Samsung ecosystem and you want a decent Samsung device that works well, decent cameras, decent performance for day-to-day -day use. And this phone does that just fine. So even though this phone costs the same as the S5 Pro, which performs way better, what you're not getting on the S5 Pro is a company that's trustworthy, a company that's gonna push out updates for two, three years. Because you immediately you're not gonna get much updates at all. So in some ways this phone is actually a better buy. You're getting a nice clean Samsung experience and for that I'd say it's absolutely worth it. But if you're looking for a smartphone for as cheap as possible and for the most performance as possible and you don't really care about what brand it is, then I would get the Humidigi S5 Pro because it, for, it performs better at the end of the day. But to each their own, I told you guys my opinion. It's up to you to decide. It's an overall good phone. They're just better options, but depends who and what and why. So I hope this review helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.